Concerns about COVID may have largely gone away, but what about vaccine side effects? Shouldn't someone have polled Americans about that by now? Well, we did, and the results are astounding. Now, this is a touchy topic for big tech censors, but I wanted to hopefully preempt malicious calls of disinformation with this disclaimer. I'm a pollster, not a medical researcher. And in this video, I will only be discussing questions we asked Americans and a breakdown of their responses. American public opinion is not medical disinformation. There's some extremely important information in here, so please hang on to the end of the video to make sure you get it. How effective are COVID-19 vaccines at preventing infection with the virus? 56% of Americans, a majority, say they're at least somewhat effective, and 26% say very effective. Only 19% say not at all effective. Now, beliefs do vary somewhat among demographic groups, with the biggest difference being among men, of whom 9% more than women say the vaccine is at least somewhat effective, and by age, where the 65 plus crowd is 12 points more likely than 18 to 39 year olds to say the vaccine is very effective but the biggest difference without a doubt is in the party numbers. Now, I just want you to take a moment to appreciate the insanity here. The COVID pandemic was so politicized that literally the tribal party group you belong to is essentially what dictates your views on the effectiveness of a vaccine. So here are the results. 40% of Republicans think the vaccine is at least somewhat effective and 45% of independents, but only 16% of Republicans and 14% of independents think the vaccine is very effective. I've seen this pattern before where independents poll like Republicans on things that involve suspicion of the mainstream narrative, but independents are also less likely to be as contrarian as Republicans. 56% of Republicans say the vaccine is not effective, but only 45% of independents but check out Democrats. 80% say the vaccine is at least somewhat effective and 47% say very. More than three times more than independents. Only 6% of Democrats say the vaccine is not at all effective. How concerned are you that the COVID vaccines may have major side effects? 57% are concerned and 31% are very concerned. 40% are not concerned and only 18% are not at all concerned. This is a vaccine that has been administered to nearly 70% of US adults and billions of people across the world. But 57%, at least in the US, are concerned about major side effects. Women are seven points more concerned than men, and women under 40 are even more concerned than anyone else, 69%. Adults over 65 are actually slightly less concerned than everyone else, and Hispanic adults are the most concerned by race, six points more than white adults, the next highest racial group. But again, Here's party. 74% of Republicans are concerned, 56% of independents, but also 43% of Democrats. 12% of Republicans, 16% of independents, and 26% of Democrats are not at all concerned. So independents are closer to Democrats, and Democrats aren't as far from Republicans on this question. And Democrats are way more likely to be concerned about side effects than they are to not think the vaccine is effective. So the threat of side effects is making it through, but Democrats just aren't willing to entertain the thought of the vaccines not working. In this sample, 68% of adults say they have received a COVID-19 vaccination. Here's a list of who's most vaccinated and least vaccinated. 65 year olds, high incomes, Democrats, and men over 40 top the list. Young people in general are least vaccinated at around 56%, but only 51% of women under 40 are vaccinated. Black adults, independents, and incomes under 30K are next lowest at 58%. Now here's an important chart. People who thought the vaccine was very effective or are not at all concerned about its safety are obviously the most vaccinated, but only 30% of people who think the vaccine is not at all effective got vaccinated and 53% of people who think it is not very effective. But 44% of people very concerned about major side effects are vaccinated and 69% of people at least somewhat concerned. This tells me that it's most likely people abstained from vaccination over doubts about its effectiveness and concerns about side effects are more likely to be people who either found out after being vaccinated, had a side effect, or who were forced to get vaccinated despite their concerns. All right, here's the big one you've been holding on for. Of the 68% of adults who had a vaccine, do you believe you've experienced major or minor side effects? A combined 41% of vaccinated adults say they've experienced at least a minor side effect and 7% say a major side effect. Now, we left it up to the respondent to define in their heads what constitutes a major side effect. 
So take a moment to think about what a major vaccine side effect would mean to you. Good, now let's do some math. According to the 2020 census, there are about 258 million adults in the US. And according to this poll, 175 million of them are vaccinated, with 7% having a major side effect. That means over 12 million adults in the US have experienced a self-described major side effect that they attribute to the COVID-19 vaccine. That's over 11 times the reported COVID death numbers. And also note that anyone who may have died from the vaccine obviously can't tell us that in the poll. Now doing some more math, that's nearly 72 million US adults who have experienced at least a minor side effect that they attribute to the COVID vaccine. Now, those numbers are absolutely astounding, but I'm gonna show you something that to me is even more astounding. Here are the side effect rates for all the main demographics. Does this look like it's politically driven to you? Not to me. In fact, the less politically encumbered you are, younger voters, independents, Hispanic voters, are actually reporting higher side effect rates. Democrats and Republicans are actually only two points apart. Though Republicans report a higher major side effect rate, they do tend to be more cantankerous. It's also important to point out that farther out in the crosstabs, even 6% of people who think the vaccine is very effective report a major side effect. So people are being pretty objective here in their reports about vaccine side effects. Okay, let's wrap this up. A majority, 56% of Americans still think the COVID vaccines are at least somewhat effective. But if you took Democrats out of the equation, the numbers would drop to 43% with only 15% saying they're very effective. Even more adults, however, are at least somewhat concerned about vaccine side effects and 41% of vaccinated individuals, or about 28% of the US population, have had at least a minor COVID vaccine side effect, while about 5% of our total adult population, 12 million people, report a major side effect. This is just incredibly big news. So please help us spread it by liking our video, sharing it on Twitter, and subscribing to our channel. And for fun, please post what a major side effect means to you in the comments. Thanks for watching.